Hello, class. Uh, welcome to week 10. Uh, we're in the home stretch. We have a few weeks left, so uh, we're getting close. Um, so uh, this week, we are going over um, a few different things, uh, obviously. <laughs> but um, uh, we will only probably have about three assessments, assessments left, okay? Um, first off, though, if uh, you want to participate in that grad video that we are um, putting together, I do need your submissions by the end of uh, Monday, okay? I might extend it to Tuesday because I've had a few people ask for it, but um, as of right now, um, I'd like it by the end of Monday. So please try to get those in. Um, I'd love to see all of you in it. Um, so, um, so please do that, okay? Um, for the week update, um, we're going to be looking at the climate crisis and uh, some of the impact that COVID-19 has had on the climate crisis, um, as well as the world water crisis. Uh, Netflix has a really, really amazing documentary. Um, so you can watch it on Netflix or I've given you the link to YouTube because uh, they actually made them free on YouTube as well. And uh, it goes over um, some of the issues that kind of went on um, a couple years ago in South Africa. Um, there's also an article I'd like you to read. So I know that um, there's less like PowerPoint info and a bit more reading, but um, it's all really uh, important stuff and stuff that really impacts us right now. Okay. Uh, we will have a Teams meeting on Wednesday at noon. Um, I have like meetings all day that day. So I'll be meeting out, but uh, I'll look, I look forward to seeing you guys. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'll go through the PowerPoint. Um, so I asked you guys to kind of look over this last a week. So it's kind of looking at the Kyoto Protocol, which obviously uh, is moot now because we don't have the Kyoto Protocol anymore. Um, and they, they've changed it to um, um, a, a couple different things. Um, and largely for that is because a lot of countries dropped out of the Kyoto Protocol. Um, and then they they tried to make some changes and, um, and um, like try to think, make things a bit more fair. Um, but um, we have to kind of balance that, especially within Canada and especially in Alberta, um, with um, economic expansion um, in terms of climate change and, and things like that. And kind of to what extent do we um, have to think of both? Um, uh, this, read over this in your textbook. It's not like a crazy um, vital, um, but China and India were um, 21st century economic miracles. They rapidly modernized in the 21st century. Um, and so they've done a lot of things. Some of it though has had like a, a huge impact on the traditional ways of life. So for example, some of the work they did on the dams in uh, China, um, they actually like had to flood <laughs> like whole sections of China in order to dam uh, the Yangtze's River, uh, which my husband, by the way, says is like an engineering marvel. Um, but regardless, they, they actually had to like move people out and they forcibly removed them from their homes because they, they, <laughs> because they flooded their homes basically. Um, and as well, this has had a huge impact on urban air pollution. And so, um, seven of the most 10 polluted cities on the planet are in China, which is insane. Um, and as well, and we talked about this in class before um, COVID canceled our classes, um, there's actually been like a huge change in um, CO2 levels in China since um, lockdown happened. And pandemics, what? What's a pandemic? Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> so a pandemic is an outbreak of a disease on a large scale. And this is where principles of liberalism are challenged, which is what we've been talking about. So um there's a lot of issues with this because one, you think, oh, well, we have to ban people from coming in and we can't like, you know, we, we knew it started in China and maybe we should have banned people from coming in from China sooner and things like that. So, okay, yeah, that provides greater protection. But on the other hand, this has issues with trade. Um, it restricts uh, freedom of movement. Um, it restricts uh, the freedom to like to travel and things like that. Um, we also have to keep in mind like with that trade and stuff like that, keeping up our allies and things like that. And so like right now with the United States, we've agreed to keep the border closed until June 21st. It's been pushed back again. Um, but then Donald Trump was like, oh, maybe we'll open it sooner. <laughs> and Canada just like tried to avoid saying anything, <laughs> but, um, cause that's, that's problematic obviously, because, um, we don't want to make the United States mad, <laughs> but on the other hand, we, uh, we need to protect ourselves. And so there's a lot of issues that come up with pandemics, especially because they're so unknown. Obviously there's so much unknown about the pandemic that we're in right now. 
This has never been so useful for social studies as it is right now. They will study about this in future social studies textbooks. And you'll be like talking to your grandkids being like, yeah, I remember the pandemic of 2020. Anyways. <laughs> um, so pandemics do create problems for liberal democracies, which I think we all know now. Um, and so the WHO, um, I'm sure you've heard about them lots in the news lately. Um, they have to kind of figure out how they can balance people's freedoms with also the need to curb the spread of the disease, especially because we don't have a vaccine right now. Um, a lot, a lot of people might remember Ebola a few years ago, but there was a vaccine already in the works for Ebola, which is why it came out so quick because they're already working it. But vaccines generally take 12 to 18 months to, um, to, to come out and then to be tested and then to be actually um, distributed. And that's one of the biggest problems is like, how can we safely distribute this um, through Canada? And what if people refuse the vaccine? And uh, so we have to look at the balance of people's freedoms um, as well as, as curbing the disease. And so that's something to think about. Like if they do discover a vaccine and, and, you know, they create this vaccine, it's not really discovering, but they create this vaccine and, and and it works um do we do we force people to take it do we do we say everybody has to take it if they want to come back to school or work or whatever um to prove that you know they're safe against covid is that respecting people's freedoms you know so those are all types of things that uh, we need to think about um okay and then this is kind of what we're focusing on this time so we're going to talk about climate change and water shortages um so we have to look at how the development of a country um, has to be balanced with um, health concerns. And so one of the biggest health concerns and priorities in our world right now is water shortages because there's not enough safe drinking water or to go around the world. Um, Canada's really uh, blessed, lucky, whatever you want to say. Um, we have like most of the world's fresh water, like basically at our fingertips. And so to us, it's like it's totally normal. Like we'd go and we turn on the tap and we have water and yay. And it's clean and it's cold. And like, like, honestly, you, you, if you took bio 20, like you could drink from the North Saskatchewan river. I probably wouldn't, but like you could, it's really pretty clean. Um, especially if you think of like other rivers, like, um, you know, the Ganges river in India, like that is not a clean river. Um, and so water pollution and shortages, um, is a huge issue in our world. Okay. And so that's what that Netflix series um, is about. And Netflix has this whole series called Explained, um, and they're fascinating. Um, <clears throat> some of them are, are like really weird, but this water shortage one is so good. And uh, there's also actually one on pandemics, but you can only watch it on Netflix right now. They haven't released it to YouTube for free. Um, but I just watched it a couple weeks ago, and it was fascinating. Like just the way that they talked about it, it's a very like scientific viewpoint. Um, and just like these are the facts, and this is what's going on. So it was good. Uh, so read this article, um, Climate Change and Coronavirus. It's really interesting because it talks about um, kind of what we can learn from scientists and um, coronavirus um, as well as climate change. Okay. Um, and guys, I learned how to put GIFs in GIFs, GIFs in um, PowerPoints. Although this one's not working right now, but it was working. Um, and I'm pretty proud of myself. Uh, we'll have a Teams meeting, like I said, on February or February. February was like a year ago, May 27th. Um, please complete that uh, Google Doc. It shouldn't take you too long. It's pretty easy. Um, please don't stress yourself out. It doesn't need to be four pages long. And you know who I'm talking about. Um, you know, half a page, a page, okay. Um, and uh, and yeah, we are almost there. Okay, see, it was, there we go. Look, I got the guy working. Anyway, so we're almost at the end. We only have a few weeks left. Like I said, we'll probably only have like three more assignments. We have this Google Doc. We're going to have a source analysis essay, which I know stresses some of you out, but it's just, it's a really good thing to get practice with before you go into post-secondary. Um, and especially because of post-secondary is they've, they've announced that most of them will be online next year. Um, this is a really good way for you to kind of get some practice in that online hand in and I can show you um, kind of a response, okay? Um, and then next week is grad week. And so, like I said, you know, do a lot of those fun things and send in your submission for the video. And, uh, and I can't wait to see it. And we have some surprises for you guys. And uh, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be good. I know it's not what you wanted. And it's not what I wanted either. I had a really rock and dress to wear. But um, it's going to be good. And it'll be what we can do. So uh, I miss you guys. And I hope you're doing well. And I will talk to you on Wednesday. Bye bye.